uh, the man of the moment actually has got to be Hemant Takral because uh, uh, we are at the end of uh, a very interesting and shortened uh, contract. Uh, April contract has three more days of trading left. Hemant, uh, first, of, first up, of course, how would you trade the Nifty today and up till end of contract? Yeah, uh, morning, Lata. Lata, basically, I think the way things have shaped up, it still looks on the uptrend. So uh, clearly, if you see the rollover cost going forward in the next series, it's still suggesting that bullish trend is being maintained. And uh, there is no reason to go short or uh, really to change the uh, trend in your even in your mind. Because if you see the last expiry closing was at 66.40, we have managed to hold well above that, those levels and rebound back very sharply. All the call writers on 67, 68 have been taken apart in a single day rally. So, and huge put additions have been have in this series itself on 67 and 68. Yes, I do expect some uh, threat around 68, 20, which was the previous all time high. That Nifty may take some time to cross over that. Uh, moment it crosses that, then I think it's heading towards 6900. That would be the next immediate target level but I would be every dip if I get because of volatility of expiry in next one or two dips I will be utilizing to buy because I do see at least a target of 6820 within this expiry once being tested if it manages to cross that then 6900 so the trend remains positive stop loss for all long positions should be 6680 on nifty spot so any dip, please, everyone uh, should utilize to get into Nifty right now. So your 6900 is also for this contract, uh, uh, I mean, as of Wednesday evening? Yeah, uh, yes, Lata, provided it crosses 6820, because uh, that is an area of where last time we had peaked out, so that right. will act as a uh, slight resistance point for us. Uh, thanks for joining in. Talking about your individual trading ideas, Arvind, even Anuj was pointing, uh, pointing this stock out. What um, is the futures and options setup looking like? You are, uh, is this question for yes. me? I could not get your voice. Yes, yes. Heman, this question is for you on Arvind. What makes you so bullish? No, your voice is not coming. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Heman, we'll get to you in a minute. Uh, just fix that uh, volume. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, okay. Uh, go you. ahead. Uh, I mean, Reema was asking you your strategy on Arvind. Okay. Uh, see, uh, very clearly, this is one of the mid-cap stocks I think one should keep on radar. Already the way the rollovers have picked up in the next series, it's clearly telling that momentum has come back in the stock. I think the target should be kept in mind is around now 200 uh, to 201. It has crossed 186, 187 technically which was a resistance point. And the rollover cost itself is in on a, such a bullish note. I think the immediate target 201 can even be achieved in next 3 to 4 trading sessions. So I would buy it keeping a stop loss of 181 to 183. That's a very strong support zone for Arvind now. Takral, uh, your call on the bank Nifty today? See, uh, Lata, if I am bullish on Nifty, I think the best sector to carry it forward would be bank Nifty only. And again, the rules are suggesting that this will be second month in a row where the bank Nifty rollovers are on a very positive note. Yes, uh, I do agree that bank Nifty has not been able to cross the previous highs of 13,100 on the upside of 13,200. But uh, I, I just see it as a matter of time. I think Bank Nifty will be the one which will be stretching over and helping Nifty to move from here on. And uh, uh, the big, uh, best rollover cost right now is in Excess Bank, Indescent Bank and uh, Bank of Vadoda. So these will be the three uh, stocks that I will be watching very carefully for trading opportunities in next three days. All right. You know, you had that uh, uh, 68220 as the benchmark beyond which you would get even more... <coughs> bullish on the nifty what are the levels on the bank nifty see uh, bank nifty as i suggested it's the support will be around 12620 uh, this is bank nifty spot which has closed at 12735 and the target would be 12980 13000 and uh, after 13,000, I think it will change the orbit altogether. But uh, very clearly, the first target would be around that 1290. And I would not be 
thinking of uh, giving away long positions unless until 12, 6, uh, 30 is taken away on the downside. So that will be support and targets for Bank Nifty. Uh, we have one stock strategy that you have given us, uh, Tata Global. Can you take us through that? Yes, it's another mid cap uh, which clearly Lata is looking very strong to me. Two reasons. Again, the one, the roll, the all rollovers that already started picking up. In fact, it's already around 21% positions rolled. And with three days pending, I'm expecting the rollovers to cross the six months average of 75. Secondly, it's given a breakout above 155, 156 on back of very good delivery volumes. And it's clearly now heading towards the next resistance point, which is 165 to 170. So I think this is one area, it's an FMCG stock, but the way the roles and the things are picked up, I think it will be a good trading pick also for next two to three trading sessions for a target of 165, 170 zone. Just keep a stop loss of 150, 150 because that's a very strong zone of Tata Global. Any fall, or any fall below that would negate the upturn. So I would keep that level as stop loss. Heman, very quickly, what has been uh, the FNO setup in Reliance Industries and what does it indicate about how it will move in the next series? See, for me, uh, Reliance rollovers are encouraging. So that means the trend remains positive. But the most important thing is the call writers in both the series, 1000 here and 1000 in May also. They are building positions there also. So I think the real threat would be from 985 to 1000. If Reliance can cross 1000 somehow, then I think a very big rally can come in. If it fails, then it will remain in range between 920 to 985. So I think the real problem would be 985 to 1000. So that would be the real resistance zone for Reliance. Okay, actually, just a, a very quick last question, Hemant. Uh, 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 this is an important series in terms of rollovers because uh, uh, May might be that mega series for all you know. What will you be comfortable with in terms of long rollovers? Still continue to uh, be, as I suggested, on towards the high beta spaces. So I will be very comfortable with going with banking to some extent auto uh, where Tata Motors, especially if I have to pick up a pick on the auto front. And the third would be uh, in uh, in spaces like capital goods, where Crompton, l and have shown, started showing all I, I thought you would say goals. Adani and JP. So high beta spaces would... See, uh, Adani, JP, I think people have already started factoring in too much there, Lata. I don't know how much reactions are still left in there. But definitely the rollovers are encouraging. So I, I, I think it's given away with the elections that Adani and JP will move. All right. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, Hemant Takral, appreciate you taking time out for us. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh,